Wait, did she give me the bow or was I already carrying too much? No, I, she did give me the bow. Damage 30. 31 on that, but it's been increased. This one hasn't. Freeze targets for 30 damage and inflicts 15 shock. That is a really cool bow. Oh my god, it is heavy though. 17 pounds. Yeah, the glass bow is only eight and a half. So it's it's literally double the weight. Yes. You encumbered me with the stupid bow. <gasps> what do you What's on your mind? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Please carry my crap. Okay. Left. Uh, I can't give her that. That, that, that. Okay, perfect. Uh, no, don't carry those. Carry these. Oh, no, don't carry the Falmer helmet. Give me that. I'll just drop that. Same with that. Why did I pick these up? Okay. <laughs> Those, uh, steel, okay. Hold that, hold that. Hold the Nightingale bow, because I don't want it. Or the Dwarven dagger, whatever, it's fine. Okay. Do let me know if I can be of service. Okay, bye. Nice. Alright. Where the hell am I? I am oh. Uh Let's head east to uh, Windhelm, and then we can fast travel back to the house and drop off a lot of this junk I don't need. That'll be nice. I'm sorry, what? Oh, hey. Are you casting? Are you using a staff? I don't know, you got the Daedric Axe. Let's let's pretend like that wasn't you. So that's what happens when they try to uh to power attack me now. They power attack me and it it I think it still does the damage. But it knocks them down. Super convenient. So that troll was like, punch collapse. <laughs> that was awesome. I think I'm gonna have to cross the river so that I can go across the bridge. Because I don't think you can actually get to Windhelm from this side, which seems weird. Or can you? Maybe you can. Maybe I'm just dumb. Nope, you can't.
just like wicker baskets floating in the water. Yeah, weird. Oh my god. They don't want you to get into this city at all. Come here. Well, never mind. We're going home. You're fine for now. Fallout 4 is a good game. Come along. No more I'm glad you enjoy it. To find our way to Lydia. Oh, that's right. She comes in over there. I'm right behind you. It's an honor to serve you. No, you can't wear the gold diamond ring. What are you doing? Stop it. Take a... Take major health. Did I take your necklace that you were- yeah, Stendar. You can keep that. Give me all this. You lead, I'll follow. Cool. I don't know. Alright. Uh damage. Nightingale bow uh, uh, uh. actually. Nightingale boat. Oh my god. Does not go there. Neither does that one. That, 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 that. Those go there. Hunting bow of cowardice goes there. Okay. No, don't get rid of those, that, and those two. Uh, the rest of that stays here. Perfect. You play Skyrim in VR? You're gonna lose. I don't even have a room for VR. It would be cool though. Okay, that's good for that. Why is my nose so itchy? Okay, leathers. in here or gemstones actually I don't know what to do with the eyes of Falmer but I guess we'll figure that out not anything to worry about at the moment oh it will let me Let me put the right eye down, but not the left eye. Hmm. Well, let's not put it in there, because that'll get lost. Um. Let us... That's actually exactly where I wanted it to go. 
that works out well. Okay, uh, soul gems. Go up here. that those are basically trash. One oh nine, hey. We got our weight down. Sick. Okay. Let us, let's see, darkness returns, enter the twilight sepulcher. Return the eye of the Falmer to Delvin. There you go. All right, so let's go back to Riften and turn in the eye. And then we'll go, well, that the twilight sepulcher, sepulcher is right there, isn't it? I think. I don't know, we'll figure that one out. Whoops. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Oh, uh, I would. I don't think you'll give me your sword. But I would do it. Because I'm cool like that. Hello? There we go. So far, so good. These people are a little nicer to me now. Pretty convenient. That's not what I wanted. I thought that was just a regular door. Delvin, wake up. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available, if you're looking for some extra coin. By the eight, you actually got your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. After I sell this to my buyer in High Rock, our coffers will be overflowing. There you go. You've earned it. 3,200? Amazing. What's the matter? Afraid of getting your hands dirty? Not really. Can I see the the vault? Like the real vault? Is it still open? Like, can... this is not it. It's called the vaults. That's not the vault. Still empty. Can we close these, please? No? Okay. Well, that's fair. Back from a job, huh? It went well. Hi. Alright, let's go see if we can find the Twilight Sepulchre. Well, that's a name I hadn't seen in forever. Need a drink, you go to the B and Bar. Stay out of the ragged flag. I was gonna call it out Stay and then I realized. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Maybe they want to lurk.
What's this? Here it is. Twilight Sepulchre. Oh, hey, that's over near Falkreath. Hey, King Nick, what is up, dude? You recognized I was talking about him? I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, I know, right? How you been, man? Hanging in there? Nice. Graduated and got married. Moving on up, dude. Congrats. I'm still married. <laughs> Sorry. Eh, what you gonna do? What's your field? What the fuck is this? Computer science, gotcha. Are you trying to find a programming gig? Good luck, my friend. Running any multiplayer Minecraft servers these days? No. I haven't played Minecraft in like four or five years, probably. Anything at this point? That's fair. Hi, ghost of someone. I don't recognize you. But I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? Bob. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. Wait, are you Gallus? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Uh, messed around for a couple hours in No Man's Sky. Got any quick tips? Uh, don't look for an ending in the game. I, I got into the game thinking that there was a an achievable ending like reasonably achievable the ending is not reasonably achievable the ending is there good luck getting to it i haven't heard that name in a long time how do you know of me the key you have the skeleton key i never thought i'd see it again and mercer frey oh he did then, it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. You've done the Guild a great deal, and although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride 
than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. Uh, I got, uh, yeah, I got news for you, man. You're already dead. The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Rip. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Okay. I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Retrieve Nystrom's journal. Good luck, Nightingale. How far am I in this playthrough? Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to, to dictate, di like, how far you are in the game. I am level... 47. I have legendaried out two-handed, so I'm leveling that up again. I maxed out heavy armor, but I'm not going to legendary that. Um, have I completed any of the main quest lines? Mage Guild, I think, is done. And this is the end of Thieves Guild. Oh, and again, I don't have Lydia. Ugh, well, at least this isn't Dwarven. I would be upset if this was another Dwarven Ruin. This just looks like Nordic. A presence. Dude, don't be creepy. Death comes for you now. Did I not finish Mage Guild? I'm the Archmage, so I mean... I'm mostly done? I have, I have Jago's experiment, but other than that, that's it. That's just a side quest within the mage, mage quest line. It's not even really part of it. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm done. I guess that's the exit there. Void salts? Awesome. I don't want to touch that guy's large sack. Interesting. Oh, you dick, you set off the thing with your arrow. What a jerk. I was gonna jump over it. Mm. Yeah. 
fancy. I'm sorry, what? Apparently the light hurts me. I like it in the dark. I dodged that at the last second. Oh, that place sucked. Okay. Yeah, who was it? Baka was here the other day, said she's got like over a thousand hours into the game and she hasn't beaten it yet. Like, how do you even do, like, what the hell are you doing? No? That's what I thought. I was going to drop the key, but it won't let me drop the key. Can't put anything in her hands. Can I find the journal? No. Maybe this was one of the dudes that was dead out there in the sunlight. 
Maybe I need to see if one of them had the journal on them. There's that guy. Nightingale armor? Maybe. But I didn't bring it with me. I guess I could go back and get my Nightingale armor. It seems kind of weird. You'd think if that was a requirement, they would have... Uh, made you wear it indoors to get inside, you know what I mean? Maybe a button like that, yeah. Maybe there are more buttons hanging around. There's a door here. At least I think that's a door. Looks a little thin, actually. The exit? Yeah, there was one over there that I think is the exit. Well, I, th I thought it was this one, but that one had a button. It's possible the other one has a button. And I just overlooked it. Let's go check. Do you see anything button-esque all around me?
You think if the button would do something, like if there was a button to open that door, it would be either in that room or very close to that room. Like somewhere where you press it and you'd be able to hear the door opening. Anywhere else and it would be uh, problematic. Ooh, I almost fell on that light. I'm thinking if there's a button... Be in here at the earliest. Checking all the little cubby holes. They wouldn't hide it too well because they don't want the average person to miss it. So it's not like it's going to be really well hidden. Do I have the quest markers active? Yeah. Quest markers are active. Jesus. Does the other way may lead nowhere? The darts are setting themselves off. Oh. 
Sneak increased. Hey. Hey. That was. Don't judge me. All right. Well, there's no book here. behind the tables? I don't see no door behind the tables. No? We're good. Twilight Sepulchre Inner Sanctum. Like we're making progress. Chandelier? Man, what are you talking about? I didn't even see a chandelier. Are you drunk? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a little platform here, but... Nah, I don't think there's anything. Not yet? Okay. Well, that's fair. The night is young. And full of tears? No, that's not... That's not right. Anders. I vaguely remember this. walls is fake. It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world, or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. 
Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me, awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you failed to realize is your actions were expected, and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck. The die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Evergrove. Farewell, Mr. Boyle. See to me that you stay this time, won't you? Do I have to drink her bath water? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of stealth, the Half Moon for the Agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the Agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. Beginning. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. The Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the Agent's own life force, making him stronger. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. The agent of subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Hmm. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Which one was which again? Like, I... I know the full moon was strife. I think the ha I think the quarter moon, or the crescent, was, uh... I think the crescent moon was stealth? Shadow cloak of nocturnal added.
For 120 seconds, I automatically become invisible while sneaking. Okay. Callus. I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Like I just kind of popped out and he was gone. Let's go see if we can find Tolfdir's Alembic. Now there's a portal there that teleports me to that room so I don't have to go through the path every time. That's convenient. Okay, uh, where is the near, I guess Falkreath is the nearest travel location. So let's head east again. Oh, hey, Lydia. Welcome back. Note from a corpse. Eminent blocking, I guess, was what they stole from her. Well, that sucks. Hey, no problem, man. If you want to hang out more, uh, we got a Discord server, too. Feel free to come and hang out in there if you want. Exclamation point Discord. I probably don't. Yeah, I don't need that. What am I doing? Get out of here. I don't need recipes for anything. Run! Okay, there we go. Why am I- Oh, I'm empty on stamina. I thought it was full. I'm dumb. So Tolfdir is missing his Alembic. I don't even know what an Alembic is. I'm assuming it's a vial of liquid. Although I could be way wrong. See you later, man. A portable alchemy chamber. Hmm. All right, now that we're here, somebody spoiled for me that it is in the college somewhere. 
So good to see you. We'll head over there and check it out. No, that wasn't you. <laughs> Let's have a quick quick look around and see if we can find it. I have no idea what it would look like or where it would be. I'm not gonna spend like an hour searching for it either. I'm gonna keep our eye out. If I run into Tolfdeer, I may see if he can say anything else about it. You're not told here. Greetings, Archmage. Archmage's quarters. Arcanum. Let's go check my quarters first. I think it's least least oh. likely to be here. and plates. Worst things ever. myself. With that, um, that wicker basket. Just a straight up dagger. Man, being the Archmage, I get some cool shit. And it seems to be replenished <laughs> on a regular basis.
What's on your mind? Eminent blocking. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. Hey, enchanting to level 50. Cool. Alright, so it's not in here, that's for sure. What is up? Up is just Skyrim, right? Yeah. I'm, even though I'm Archmage, I would still be stealing if I took books. That's disappointing. I guess I could come in here when he's gone, though. Greetings, Archmage. Hello. Greetings, Archmage. Hello. What are you supposed to watch next week since I'll be gone? Uh, Barber's King. Greetings, watch him. Archmage. Can I open this? No. May I help you, Archmage? Mm-hmm. It's not there. That goes to the Archmage Quarters. That goes to the Arcadium. Okay, so it's not in here. I mean, I guess it could be in the Midden, although that sounds like a huge pain in the ass. The Simpsons? Man, Simpsons haven't been good in a decade. Why would you do that? Greetings, Archmage. That just sounds like torture. Peralta? Greetings, Archmage. Hello. You haven't seen a uh, Alembic around here, have you? We have survived difficult times and are better mages for it. We owe you that, Archmage. Thank Not what I asked. Oh, you have access to the old ones. Oh, well, then that's different. Who the fuck is Tolfdir, anyway? He dead. How do I get upstairs? Oh, hello.
All right, so I've got Tolfdir's thing, but where's where's Tolfdir? Greetings, Archmage. Whatever. Perhaps we can go another few decades without a disaster. That would be nice. Is he in here? Good, good to see Skyrim's. Ah, yes, there it is. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Wow, 30 gold and a soul gem. Thanks, dog. Okay, let's head back to, to the house and drop a few things off before we go elsewhere real quick. So we're basically done with the Mage Guild and with the Thieves Guild. I also need to do the Dark Brotherhood, which I can start now. Um, Honored to see you again. Hey. That, that, that. Anything else go here? Soul gem fragment I need to get rid of. That. Wait, what was that book I just put away? It was a spell, wasn't it? Yeah, spell tome. I can also just trash those. Those are useless. Okay. This is my cell junk. I'll put the iron dagger, frost thing. All of that, those, gold necklace, alteration and conjuration, the rest of that needs to be saved, okay. We're gonna have to do some more um, uh, potion making soon, I've got a lot of stuff again. stuff off downstairs Put a bone skitter somewhere hey look the eye is still here convenient leathers we're gonna put away some gemstones amethyst ruby that's it Silver ingot. Actually, you know what? No, I need to get to 100. Never mind, it's fine. I was gonna say, let me go ahead and do some smithing, but I'm not gonna. I'm at 94, and I need to get to 100 before I can get the uh, the Daedric upgrade, which I hope has um um dragon bone heavy armor. All right. All right. I think that is a good stopping point for now, everybody.